Uh, Mark, first of all, congratulations uh, on the championship uh, last week here. I'm sure uh, you still have to be reveling in the glory. Oh, trust me, I'll revel for a while, but thank you very much. Yeah, it's been great. It's been fabulous. Yeah, I mean, this is a team where, you know, a lot of folks looked at this team a few years back, and it almost seemed lost. I mean, when you uh, teamed up to buy this uh, team, I think it had the worst uh, record in the NBA. I think it only won about 16 games, and here you are yeah. just a few years later. You're talking about a team that's not only uh, title holders, but of course, just the value of the team has just increased exponentially. This is a relatively small market team out there in Milwaukee. When you talk about the sustainability, not only of just winning, but to have the attention, the ticket sales, the merchandise sales here, what are you looking towards next year and beyond to keep that going? Um... Well, we were. It's exactly what you said. We were the worst team in the league when we bought it. Um, I think a lot of it, we, we built a new training facility. That was number one. We built a new stadium. Um, and that's been huge, I think, for us. And I think, as everybody saw, if you were watching the finals, um, we have this area in front of our stadium that literally, I think, for the finals game, had about 60,000 people. Um, so we're one of the only, I think we're either the only team or one of the only teams that could accommodate that many people. We had literally about 85,000 people in the stadium and outside, um, which I think is the first time for the NBA. Um, yeah. But I, I, I think for us, if you're talking about, you know, the way to sustain it is if yeah. you keep winning, I think we'll be able to sell uh, more season ticket holder, you know, more season tickets. So yeah. um, that would be great. Well, so have you, what type of bump have you seen so far out of this? I mean, obviously, uh, just all the attention you heaped on Milwaukee, all of the attention, of course, uh, heaped on Giannis Antetokounmpo, and just the general idea here that you are now in a spotlight that Milwaukee really hasn't seen uh, since you go back to, you know, the old days with Kareem Abdul-Jabbar or Lou Alcindor. No, you're absolutely correct. First of all, I want to congratulate you on being able to say his name because it's hard. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought that was great. Yeah. But it, it's actually great for the city. I mean, it, you hit it on the head. It's great for the city. It's great for the state. It It's made people sort of now notice Milwaukee. Um, it's great for Giannis. It's great for our team, our coaches. So I, I, I think it's been massively popular um, because I think they've connected. You know, I've been saying all along that this is America's team. Um, I believe it. I mean, I really do. I think people love Giannis. They love what we've been able to sort of put together. Um, so, you know, I sort of look forward to the future and hope that we can continue, at least on the road that we're on. Mark, this isn't so much a business question, but sort of a personality question, a performance question. We're looking at today the news of Simone Biles over in the Olympics, yeah. same as we see with Naomi Osaka, talking of mental health, when you've got so much pressure on a certain player such as Giannis, how do you ensure that he feels supported through that? How you encourage all of your players when they feel such responsibility? Well, I think we try to at least surround everybody um, with a staff that is extremely supportive. So I think for Giannis, and, and it's hard. I mean, it's exactly what you said. There is so much pressure on everybody. Um, but you hope that your teammates are able to help you. You hope your coaches. Um, so, you know, I try to do my bit. I go out there and say, come on, let's go. So I don't, I don't know if that's, uh, if that's enough. But to be honest with you, I think what we try to do is really just try to put the right people in front of them mm. to help them in trying to accomplish what they need to do.